Hello, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate oxidation numbers. For this question, we were asked to calculate the oxidation number of manganese in this compound. So the oxidation number of Mn. Now, in order to calculate oxidation number, there are a set of rules that we must follow. And one of those rules states that the oxidation number of elements in group 1 and 2 of the periodic table will be positive 1 and positive 2 respectively. Therefore, potassium, which is in group 1, would be positive 1. Oxygen is negative 2 in all compounds except for peroxides, which oxygen would be negative 1 instead of negative 2. Or when they are combined with fluorine, which is an electronegative element and has an oxidation number of negative 1, oxygen tends to be positive 1 or positive 2 in compounds with fluorine. So now that we know K and oxygen, we're going to go ahead and solve for Mn. And all we have to do is plug in the values of K and oxygen. So K is 1 plus manganese we do not know and then oxygen the negative 2 times 4 which is the total number of oxygen and then another rule is that the sum of the individual oxidation numbers in a neutral compound is equal to 0 okay so this is a neutral compound now 1 plus the mn plus negative 2 times 4, negative 8, equal 0. Mn, then 1 minus 8 will be negative 7, equal 0. To find Mn, we're going to take the 7 to the other side, so Mn is equal to positive 7. When negative crosses, it becomes positive. Therefore, the oxidation number of manganese is positive 7. For the next example, this compound is called nitrate. So we are asked to find the oxidation number of nitrogen. So starting with the nitrogen, which we do not know, we're going to say N plus, and then oxygen is going to be negative 2, and that is because this compound is not a peroxide. Example of peroxide would be H2O2 and Na2O2. So those two are peroxide. Since this is not a peroxide, we're going to say that oxygen is negative 2. So you have negative 2 times the number of oxygen, which is 3, and this will be equal to negative 1. And that is because the rule for polyatomic ions states that the sum of the individual oxidation number in a polyatomic ion will be equal to the charge. So for this one, the charge is negative 1. Okay? You might be wondering where the 1 is. So usually we don't write that 1. We just say negative. So n, negative 2 times 3, negative 6, would be equal to negative 1. Now n will be equal to negative 1. When that negative 6 crosses over, is positive 6. And therefore, we have a positive 5 as nitrogen oxidation number. For the next question, hydrogen is positive 1 in all compounds except for metal hydrides. Okay? Now, metal hydrides, example is sodium hydride so in sodium hydride hydrogen would be negative one instead so looking at that compound you would see that that is not a metal hydride now for the sulfur x we don't know what that is that's what we're trying to find okay now oxygen is going to be negative two and that is because this is not a peroxide so now we start we have one times two the number of hydrogen we have there x we don't know then plus negative 2 times the total number of oxygen which is 4 equals 0 and that is because this is a neutral compound so you have 2 plus x now negative 2 times 4 is negative 8 equals 0 2 minus 8 is going to be negative 6 so x minus 6 equals 0 when the 6 crosses over, that becomes a positive 6. So you have x equals positive 6, and that is the oxidation number of sulfur. 